Unlocking the meaning of capitulate, mastering English vocabulary. Hello, English language enthusiasts. Welcome to our journey through the English language, where today we're going to unravel the meaning and use of a word that might sound complex but is quite simple at its core, capitulate. Understanding words like this can turn you from an English learner into a proficient English speaker. So, let's get started. The term capitulate originates from the Latin word capitulare, which means to draw up under headings, but its meaning has evolved over time. To capitulate is to surrender or to stop resisting an opponent or an unwelcome demand. It's often used in formal contexts, like military or political discussions, but it can also be applied in everyday situations. When we break down the word, we can understand it better. Cap. This part often suggests a head, leadership, or a high rank, as seen in words like captain or capital. Itchulate. While this ending doesn't have a meaning on its own in English, it connects to actions or processes in Latin derivatives. When someone capitulates, they figuratively lower their head in defeat or submission, acknowledging the other party's leadership or dominance. Now, let's see how to use capitulate in a sentence. 1. After a long negotiation, the company capitulated to the workers' demands for better wages. 2. The general capitulated to the enemy forces, realizing that further resistance was futile. 3. Despite pressure from her peers, she refused to capitulate to cheating on the exam. In each example, capitulate is used to describe giving in after a period of resistance. To enrich your vocabulary, let's look at synonyms and antonyms for capitulate. Synonyms include surrender, yield, succumb, and give in. Antonyms would be resist, defy, stand firm, and hold out. Understanding these can help you grasp the full context of conversations and reading material. It's important to note that capitulate can carry a negative connotation, as it often implies giving up after being persistent or holding a strong position. It's not just losing, it's actively deciding to stop fighting or arguing, which can be seen as a sign of weakness or pragmatism, depending on the context. Great job on adding another word to your English toolkit. Capitulate is a powerful word that adds depth to the description of surrendering or conceding. We hope this video has helped clarify its meaning and usage for you. Remember, learning a new language is a journey of a thousand miles, and each new word is a step forward. Keep stepping forward, and you'll be amazed at how far you can go. Until next time, keep learning and never capitulate in your quest to master English.